Hey, what's going on guys? It's Jerry Glean back on the scene here with another video. Today I'm gonna to be going over the best audio settings for FL Studio. It's important to get these settings correct before you start making any music. It's gonna make FL Studio run a lot smoother and it's gonna ensure that you're getting the best performance out of your computer. So let's hop right in and get to it. So now that we're in FL Studio, if you look up here in the top left of the screen under options, you can click on audio settings. If you click on this drop down menu right here, it's going to pull up all of the available sound drivers that FL Studio can use to process audio. I recommend only using um, devices that are underneath ASIO devices. These are all newer and more updated. So sample rate is a very widely debated topic. Um, a lot of people when making beats use 44100, but for recording vocals or live instruments, a lot of professional studios use 96,000 and then when they export their final song they either export at 48,000 or 44,100. Me personally I use 48,000 that's what I record vocals record instruments at um, make beats at and that is what I export my final song at so I have no down sampling occurring. I encourage you to do some reading about sample rate and determine which one's best for you. Once you find which one works best for you I would just set it and forget it. I don't think many people are gonna care about what sample rate you made your music at. So this auto close button right here, when selected is gonna allow other applications to take control of the audio device that you selected. When FL Studio is in the background, it's gonna allow you to play music in other applications. So whichever device you end up selecting under this list, if you minimize FL Studio and you're not hearing music and other applications, then you might wanna come select this auto close feature. So the buffer length is basically how much time you wanna give your computer to process the audio signal before playing it back through the speakers. So if you select this panel, it'll pull up a couple of different options. The higher the buffer length, the more time you're giving your computer, but this also results in higher latency, so it'll seem like your computer's lagging a little bit because it's taking more time to process that signal. The lower you go with the buffer length, the higher the chance you have of hearing audio glitches and distortion, pops, stuff like that because your computer isn't given enough time to process the audio signal before reproducing it through the speakers. However, when you're recording vocals and live instruments, you do wanna have a pretty low buffer length because you want to be recording in time with the other instruments. And so if your computer's lagging behind because of a high buffer length, then everything will sound off. I would suggest keeping it at 512 and below when recording a live instrument or vocals. If you're just making beats, then you can go higher with the buffer length. Just try to go as low as possible when you're recording vocals or live instruments until you start hearing some type of distortion or cracks and pops. I leave the input and output at default and it basically will use whatever you have selected as your primary input and output um, under the Windows system panel settings. So the mix in buffer switch, I had this selected. FL Studio doesn't really give you too much info on this setting. They do say that it will allow some audio devices up here to reach lower latencies. So I just go ahead and leave that one selected. Basically, it's gonna process directly into our driver's buffer switch. So the triple buffer switch can basically reduce underruns and cracks and pops, any type of glitches like that, um, when you have a high workload on your computer. So this is useful when you're mixing a large project that has a lot of sounds and effects and plugins running at one time. But do keep in mind that this also doubles the latency that you originally have set with the buffer length. So I usually leave this um, not checked when I'm just making beats, but when I start mixing and start adding plugins and effects, I'll, I'll go ahead and select this. So this priority tab right here, there's a normal high and highest setting. I select the highest setting because the mixer is where all of your plugins and effects are being processed at, so it needs the highest priority. Safe overloads, when checked, is gonna prevent um, your screen from freezing during any type of underrun or glitch situation. So I go ahead and check that. Under playback tracking, there's three options, mixer, hybrid, and driver. FL Studio says that the mixer works best when you have a buffer length of 10 milliseconds or less. So right here, I have mine set at 11 milliseconds. As you can see, 512 samples is the equivalent to 11 milliseconds. So that's pretty close to 10 milliseconds, so I always have Mixer selected. FL Studio also recommends that if you selected your sound driver for your audio interface, that you should select the driver um, under playback tracking. 
I wouldn't mess with this offset uh, slider at all. We'll just leave it right here at zero. So multi-threaded generator processing and multi-threaded mixer processing I have selected. So on your computer chip, you have multiple threads that can be utilized to do the processing. And when you have these selected, anytime a plugin is being used, an instrument or an effect, anything of that nature, you're gonna allow your computer to utilize all of its threads. So I have Smart Disable turned on, and what this is going to do is that anytime an effect, a plugin, or an instrument is not being used, it's going to disable that to free up more computer space to focus on other processing. Align tick links, I leave unchecked. FL Studio says to only check this box when you're doing troubleshooting on why a plugin is behaving erratically or it's not working correctly. So the resampling quality is going to affect whenever you want to take a sample and you pitch it up or down. Sometimes that can introduce certain artifacts and that is directly co correlated with this resampling quality. So anytime you're messing with the sample and you start to hear those those artifacts in the sample, maybe come here and try to increase the uh, resampling quality. 24 point sync is the default setting and I haven't had any issues. This preview mixture track, if you uh, select this, you can send um, the sound of your metronome to a mixer track, so that way you have the ability to turn down the metronome when you're recording, and you can select whichever mixer track that is that you want to operate on. Anytime you're previewing a sound over here in the browser and clicking on certain sounds to see which one you like, they'll also be previewed through whichever uh, mixer channel you have selected right here. I usually don't mind the loudness of the metronome or the loudness of the previews, so I don't have any mixer tracks selected. So play truncated notes on transport. I do have this selected. Anytime you make a cut or a slice in the playlist to create like a beat drop, for instance, notes that were supposed to start at that point will now start when the audio picks back up. So reset plugins on transport. I do have this selected. So anytime you start or stop a song, it's gonna um, reset the plugin. Sometimes plugins can continue processing when the song is stopped, and so when you start back up, it doesn't have, it doesn't go back to that original state. So you can uncheck this, and it'll be like a smoother transition when you're um, swapping the song position marker. So if you're going back to a different part in the song, or you want to move forward, um, that'll be smoother. But FL Studio does say that um, the differences are very unnoticeable if you leave this unchecked. So I just go ahead and leave it checked. All right, guys, that's it for the video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you have any questions about any of the material that I just went over, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section, and I'm going to try my best to get a quick response to you. Much love.